Hey guys, Bento Samurai Extreme here once again to bring you guys the latest news on what's happening in anime and J-Rock. So your cool guy Brian is going to do exciting news for anime world this week. I'm going to start with Yu-Gi-Oh actually. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh is franchising another um, new series actually for um, kids. For kids entertainment, sorry about that guys. Um, Toonami on October 15th, they're actually going to air their new episode of Yu-Gi-Oh actually mm -hmm. on 9.30 a.m. guys. So if you guys want to check out the U.S. dub version of it, that's how you guys are going to check exactly. it out. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh has been dying out pretty pretty uh, exhaustively, Brian, like the last couple of years. I mean, it's still the best-selling manga in the United States, but you know, how's the anime doing? Anime is suffering, you know. actually. I really don't know how it's going on, but they're saying this is a new character, new everything, so I don't even know if Yugi Moto is going to be mentioned in this thing. It might be another hole in the future right now, because oh. YFSD was 100 years later after um, Yugi died, actually, so we'll see how it goes. Um, you guys get pre read on Shell and Jump actually, their magazine. Um, they actually did a manga release on February, last February. So if you guys want to check it out, if it looks decent or not, guys check it out on manga actually first. Um, another other news in the anime world actually is um, Hawaii is actually having a film festival and Portland actually. So exciting news guys. Letter, of Mo Letter to Momo is actually um, premiering on that um, both film festivals. They've been premiering it in other. Um, Film festivals like Busan's uh, Korean Film Festival, Scotland's Spain's Film Festival. Um, in Hawaii, they're gonna show it twice in October 16 and 17. October 16, they're showing it at 11:30, and they're doing it at 5:30 at 17. Wow, Brian, like it's pretty international. Yeah, and Toronto did it a month ago, and they said it was a very successful thing. So maybe we should check it out when it comes out on DVD, or I think it's on Crunchyroll actually. Crunchyroll? Okay, yeah. for now. So yeah. go check it out, guys. You know, yeah. As for as long as it's legal to watch it on Crunchyroll. Yeah. So guys, I'm gonna pass it on to my co-host Steve about yes. setting this in J-Rock. Okay, guys, Bunraku. As you guys know, in the last update, Bunraku has now premiered. It's now released in limited theaters and limited locations throughout the United States with our famous guy Gact, favorite J-Rock artist slash actor. Go check it out, guys. Sounds exciting. Yeah, sounds good, man. We're gonna go check it out in LA and Orange County when it comes out. Uh, Shonen Knife is now is celebrating their 30th anniversary with their, in their European tour. They recently played at the, at the Bodega Social Club in Nottingham, England. So props to them that they're together for 30 years. Almost as long as extra pen. Wow, that's pretty long. Yes, time. really long. Oh my god, having some computer difficulties here, guys. Please bear with me for one second. And in other news, guys, GACT, JMEWorld.com has inter recently interviewed GACT about the premiere of Boon Raku and what he has been up to for in his latest activities. So, GACT again, Brian. I know, GACT's yes. been. You know, he's been busy actually. He's been at it non stop. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe this. Our last, um, our last, last film was all about Gak, 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 and then you still have Gak news you know, exactly. in two weeks. That's I pretty know. good. But that's really exciting news that in J Rock that Gak's being very productive. I know, it is awesome. And um, in other news, guys, my friend Brian here will update you on what's happening in the video game world. So, yeah, the video game world sounds really exciting. Um, King of Fighter of uh, fans are gonna be really disappointed about this. They're actually delaying their release date on November 22 for US. Um, this is their number 13 actually coming out on X Xbox 360 and PS3. Sounds really sad, but however, it's coming on both systems, so guys, we could actually have fun. Exactly. I mean, at least they still have a release date, unlike StarCraft 2, where they don't have a release date, you keep changing it. Oh, you know. I mean, but you know, you're talking about a console game right now. Exactly. Another exciting news in the video game world is Zelda, actually. Their new game, they actually launched three promo videos on their website, actually, right now. There's no release dates or anything like that, but however, I, it sounds like it's going to be an exciting game. Um, Steve has a little bit more about it, I think. Yes, um, the experience playing the Zelda, Zelda games, it's not going to be the same experience. Uh, one thing I do know about it is they got rid of the compass feature. It's integrated with dungeon maps, so you'll know exactly where the boss is, the, the, uh, all the, you know, the rubies, the um, other artifacts you can find. So, I mean, it'll be a totally different experience playing the Zelda game. And I believe, uh, Brian, you also said that um, it's going to be the last game for Wii? It might be one of the last games for Wii that's mm -hmm. actually designed by Nintendo itself because, you know, Wii does produce a, a lot of games during 
during the year. However, it's not produced by Nintendo itself. There are other, you know, subcontractors or smaller companies do it. But this might be one of their last Nintendo games because they're really wanting to promote their new system actually when they come out. Yeah, wow. uh, and they're saying a lot of the new Mario games, Zelda games are going to be on that system actually. And my last news today is on One Piece actually. One Piece is um, joined up with Dynasty Warrior gameplay actually. So they're actually going to make this game like a One Piece slash Dynasty Warrior like Gundam Dynasty. If you're a hardcore fan of One Piece and Dynasty Warrior, I recommend this getting this game actually. It's going to be on the both system on, and it was released on Tokyo um, Game Show actually that they're going to try this out. So guys, I'm going to pass it on to Steve about another exciting news about Anime World. And do you love Italia? I mean, really love Italia? Do you lie awake at night wondering how Italy spent his day? Is your teacher constantly reprimanding you in class for drawing Dino or France, embracing Britain? Do you scream to random people, I am awesome, do you really love Italia? Well, then this might be for you, this contest. If you really love Italia, you will submit a two minute fan video on why you really love Italia. Italia. I mean, really, really, really love Italia. If you love Italia, you will submit your video now to Funimation.com. So anyways, guys, here are the rules. If you submit a two minute fan video on why you love Italia the anime, Italia the excess powers, submit it to YouTube by October 9th. You have to be over 18 though. That's the one downfall. So sorry, minors. Sounds bad. Sounds really bad. So make a fan video. It's due October 9th and you will, you will win tons of Italia prizes. So go to Funimation.com for more info. Oof. Yeah, that was a breaker. Yes. Yeah, but you know, I noticed that Funimation is doing a lot of, you know, like donations and they're doing a lot of fundraisers and all these giveaway stuff. I mean, I think fundraisers, I mean, Funimation is doing very well. We have some technical difficulty, it looks like, yes. Steve. Sorry. <laughs> Cell phone, guys. Yeah. It's always <laughs> something that we always look oh, around. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, guys, um, thanks for watching this video again, guys. Um, please subscribe to our, you know, our bigger bosses or our, you, you know, know, like Anime News Network, JRock.com, and what was the new uh, one? JAME.com and Funimation.com, guys. So, guys, remember, remember to battle your, your samurai, samurai to the extreme! extreme!